Good day everyone. This project is part of the requirements for the introduction to digital control module. The project requires the students to control the angular velocity of a brushed DC motor. This will be done using a PID algorithm using perhaps MATLAB and other main devices, mainly um, an Arduino, a computer, and H-Bridge. Of course, the H-Bridge requires its own power supply, which is separate from the one for Arduino. The computer in this case will be used to enter the PID parameters and the desired RPM for the DC motor. The Arduino will be mainly responsible for the processing of the information to output the correct pulse width modulated signal which is then fed to H-Bridge to deliver the right current and voltage to the DC motor. The closed loop form of this digital control system will be discussed further in another video. However, the main objective of this lecture is to define clearly the user or the design requirements. Now remember that the user requirements or the design requirements are the behavior response for the DC motor at a given step input. So the question is, what is the step input that we are designing the controller around? So the user requirements can be written as such. For a step input, of say, 50 rounds per minute we need the DC motor behavior response to be bounded by the following design criteria 1 settling time we would like it to be less than 2 seconds second the overshoot to be less than 7 or 5 percent. Third, the steady state error to be less than 1 percent. Now the settling time is the time taken for the signal to be bounded to within a certain tolerance percentage. Sometimes it's used as 5% and sometimes it's used as 1%. Here we are assuming that the red line is our desired step input. at 50 RPM. The overshoot on the other hand can be shown on this figure as such which is defined as the maximum value minus the final value or the your steady state response so as the maximum minus the final that gives you the difference over the original final value multiplied by 100 and this is the overshoot percentage now the steady state error should be less than one percent and this is defined as the difference between the input step value which is shown in red and the final value which is shown in blue the difference between these two is the steady state error and it should be less than one percent remember that this response is the response of the closed loop system
we will discuss this later on where the encoder will be your feedback sensor and your desired input is given by the user and the difference will be your error and the output will be your PWM segment and the H-bridge will take care of your voltage and current needed by your DC motor so the step input shown in red is the one the user input using your PC also the user will input the PID parameters as well and this will be discussed in more details in later sessions also note that your feedback sensor which is the encoder fitted at the back of your DC motor will be discussed in further details later on it will be later shown that this summing junction in reality will be happening inside the Arduino where the user input such as the desired round per minute or the PID parameters this will be loaded automatically to the Arduino and the encoder information which is normally pulses will be also fed to the Arduino